Hi guys, I'm Holly from Little and this is the Krimmels Kit. Let's go! First of all, I want to thank Easy Click for sending me this bad boy for the purposes of our review. If you haven't already been able to Easy Click, go check them out at easyclick.co.uk. There's some awesome reviews on there for the latest tech and the old tech. They do deals, competitions, awards, all sorts of stuff. It's worth checking out. If you want more details about the Cremel review, then just drop into the description. You'll find my Easy Click link, which goes into much more detail, including detailed pictures. Next thing I need to tell you is I forgot my equipment to do close-ups. So I'll try and do a few close-ups while we're talking, and then, just for keep's sake, at some point throughout the video, I'll do one of them cheesy close-up picture video montage things. I hope that'll suffice, because that's all you've got. Let's get on with the specs, let's go! So it's quite a big kit. It's 91 millimeters tall by 47.5 by 38.6. It's got a 510 connection plate, which is held in by three screws. The connection plate measures about 23 millimeters, and it's ever, 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 ever so slightly raised. I mean, like, ever so slightly. It has variable wattage, temperature control, and power curves. You can also set your own custom power curves, just in case you want a little bit extra power. Variable wattage goes from 5 watts all the way up to 200 watts. Temperature control goes from 200 to 600 Fahrenheit, or 100 to 315 Celsius. Now, if we look on the bottom, there is a release catch button, which is quite stiff and hard to get out. I have to use my thumb. And then if we slide it off. See, the mod's quite small in comparison to the actual battery pack. Inside this battery pack, I've got two 21700s. Now, it is worth mentioning that these don't quite stay in. They're not held in by any means. But they do, if they're in line properly, they do kind of like hold each other in. But that's not what they're supposed to do. Now, obviously, as you can see, the connection points are on the bottom of the battery pack. They are also on the top of the mod. So you put your batteries in. It is also worth mentioning at this point, the mod will take 2700s, or it comes with adapters for 18650s. So on here, you'll see there's two rails, but on the actual case, there's one long rail. So to put a battery pack on, you have to start all the way down here, and you slide it up. It's nice, the button's nice and firm, but, let's see if you can hear this. There's a bit of rattling going on. And that's purely just because there's nothing to hold this part of the battery pack up. It would be awesome if that, either like a clip or something, to hold it in place. But it doesn't, so it rattles a bit. And when you hold it, if you check it very vigorously, you can hear the batteries rattle. But I haven't really complained about that because that's quite common on mods. Batteries will never be 100% in place. They need to move at least a little bit. You might have also noticed there is three vent holes on either side of the mod which is lovely hmm. it supports a resistance range of 0 0.02 that's 0 0.02 ohms all the way up to 3 ohms it has a 1.33 inch tft colored screen 1.33 if you want to charge it internally, which I'd always recommend charging it externally, but if you do want to charge it internally, it takes USB-C at a free amp charge rating. Come on, free amp. What other mods getting your free amp charge ratings? The downside of a free amp charge rating is you need a free amp plug, which unless you've got a brand new phone, you're not really going to get that. And it's also got this nice little protector for the USB-C port, which is always nice. So many mods leave the USB port unprotected. When we fire it, the back lights up. And then it's got all your protections. Before we talk about what I think about it, let's grab a look at the pictures so you can see all them features up close and personal. So, what does 
does Ali think about it? Well, well, I like it. So it is a bit beastier, but let's face it, it's got it's beasty for a reason. It's not big because we designed it to be big. It's big because it's got two twenty one seven hundreds in here. So if you're going to waste your time with eighteen six fifties, it's not really that much to gain from it. If you're going to put twenty one seven hundreds in it, you're cracking. And I were thinking about size, well, it's huge, but it's not really any bigger than a Wismec Relux free cell mod, is it? Let's face it. Is it? I've played about with everything. I've played about with the temperature control. I've played about the uh, ramp up speeds and everything. It is great. I have really enjoyed using it. It has got an indicator for each battery level, which is wicked. However, one always seems to die a little bit faster than the other, and I do charge them externally. So it does worry me. I don't think there's any sort of balancing going on in there. Um, so it, I would definitely recommend getting an external charger for it. The screen's nice and easy to see in all lights. Already I, I went, I purposely went out into the sun, God forbid and tested it and I went oh I can't actually see it but I just went like that and I could see it straight away there were no trying to see it, it you could just see it. it were ideal so the screen's nice and easy to see especially with the size it is and it's also got this little clock beast I know you can't see it very well shall we try and focus on it shall we do that there you go it's so beautiful and that's right you, you Probably might have even noticed that there's a timer on the top as well, so you can actually see the time. <clears throat> One thing that really does annoy me about the mod is the click system. So to turn it on and off, it's five clicks. To go into the menu, it's four clicks. To change the power options, it's three clicks. Now, that's all well and good, but... When you're trying to go three clicks or four clicks, it can be hard to get the right amount of clicks. I just found that a bit frustrating. But that's, I am a bit click giddy so much for me. I did also forget to mention it has four memory slots as well. So if you're someone that's got four different tanks or four different coils or two or whatever, and you like to have a preset for them, instead of having to use click three times, and then you can put your preset. I've got one via M1 look, where you can go straight back to the variable wattage. And you sold to get off. So am I saying it's hard to use? No, it is easier. It can just be a bit frustrating at times, especially if you're in a rush trying to go onto a menu or whatever. The menu is quite nice and easily visual. There is things though, like the first time I went on it, I changed one of the settings and then exited out of the menu and it didn't change. That's because you have to save it rather than just exiting. Like I said, little frustrating things. But it's not hard to use, it's just a case of taking your time to look at what's occurring. Other than that, if it weren't for menu and the rattling on the battery pack, then it would have got a much higher score. I think on easy click, I get it 4.3 out of 5. They're the only two main features about it. The This bit on the back looks leather, and that's because it is. It's not the padded leather that we used to with stuff like the Aegis, but it has got a leather coating on it. And the rest is metal, including that strip down the middle. Obviously, that's plastic for the light to come through. But there you go, guys. I think I've covered everything apart from the giveaway. Do you know what usually happens? I finish my review, sit down and think, Oh, shite, I forgot to mention that. So hopefully I have covered everything today. Um, shall we do the giveaway? Let's go. Mm. Shall we redraw it? I don't know whether to get him. Despite my envy of his amazing deal finding and the giveaway winning, Darren M, that's won, you jammy get. Well done, Darren M, you've won the Dead Rabbit V2. Uh, it's a black one. Thank you to Liz, because I accidentally sent it her rather than B2B. Um, and she sorted it out like a gem. So thank you for that, Liz. Darren M, drop me a message. In fact, you don't even need to. I've got your address. I'll just make sure you want it and send it out to you. Um, congrats, Darren M. 
If you want a chance to win the cream mule, you know what you got to do. Just bear in mind, the dead rabbit doesn't come with it. That's mine. I'm keeping it. My little purple dead rabbit. It's not brand new, but it does come in box with all the original contents. Why ain't it brand new? Because you only sent me one. Um, so you know what you got to do. You got to subscribe. You got to comment. And that's it, really. You'll be entered. As long as you subscribed and commented, you will be in for the draw. If you want us to comment, but you don't want to win, just put in your comment. I don't want to win. Um, uh, even if you don't want to win, please do subscribe. Please do give the thumbs up, ring the bell, and share it. Share it. Share it, please. And you need to watch out really close, because soon, very soon, I promise you, I keep saying next week, hopefully it'll be by the end of this week, I have got something amazing coming for you. I mean, it's amazing. I think we might even put that trailer on the end of this. Can we do that? Shall we do that? I've got some bloopers, so I'll put the bloopers on instead. I might flash the logo up. Guys, it's been lovely. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to message me in the comments. Don't forget to read my written review, which is in much more detail of an easy click. Thanks, guys. You are amazing. Don't forget, stay cloudy. It has variable wattage, temperature control, and power curves. It also you can also sure. But inside this battery pack, I've currently got two. 21700s and I think I've just smashed my uh, money counter. <clears throat> it is also worth mentioning that the mod will take 2700s or thanks to the battery adapters 20 18650s. It is also worth mentioning at this point the battery it is all worth it is also worth mentioning at this point the mod will take 21700s. Motherfucker! If you want a chance with it winning the creme, ah, oh, for bald that up, didn't it?